Hello everyone, my name is Octoman and this is Crossout in version 0.7 beta, um, open beta actually. And what I want to talk about is factions. So when, when you are starting the game you're gonna be automatically in the engineer's faction. And once you hit level 10 you are able to choose any other faction. And you should do that. Why? Well engineers will keep counting you uh, to level up while you are playing. But what you also want to get is maybe some different pieces and parts from the nomads for example. When you are selecting on the all or setting one on the all um, button on the bottom, you can see what kind of different equipment you're gonna get every time you're gonna level up. Also you get a new driver, some player profile portraits like this one or even this one and later on you have the possibility to get a blue crate. So also when you are in a specific faction you are able to manufacture or craft different pieces. For example a radar detector in the Nomads line. But also um, purple stuff like the AC-72 Worldwide or Spectre 2 if you like to or even missile drones and so on and so forth. And same is going to happen with all the other factions depending on in which you are currently in. So you can see that by the number which is currently orange so you know or I know um, I'm currently in the scavengers. I have still the nomads at level 9 and the engineers are still growing up currently at level 20. So what I will get from the scavengers of course is for example those pipe pieces or any different pieces and even so some more player profile portraits and so on and so forth and even so in the very end you're gonna get a veteran container one day. So if you want to have some pipe pieces uh, or some uh, of those small uh, thin uh, wall pieces, half walls and so on and so forth, you might want to go in and stick to the scavengers and so on. You can every time or actually every 24 hours change your faction. That means you're gonna be able to play in one faction then you might want to go back to another faction. But why would you want that? At first of course you want to maybe want to level it up more. But the other problem is currently I'm not in the nomads. But when I would try to maybe um, craft a vector and press on build. You can see you need to activate this faction before you're actually able to create this one. And that's a downside. Well maybe not a downside. But you will keep everything. You will keep all your current... Um, our workbenches you have paid already so actually I'm able to build four more pieces in the scavengers outpost um, but uh, when I'm gonna change uh, back to maybe the nomads or whatever this um, workbenches will still be in here but when I go back to the nomads once again I'm not leveling up the scavengers um, and I'm not able to craft anything uh, from the scavengers faction once you become level 25 in the engineers line you're gonna be able to unlock the Steppenwolves as you can see also when you hover over the name and in here you are able to craft more stuff like APC wheels, the jawbreaker um, and sidekick drones for example which are only available on site. Of course you can always go into the market and buy stuff you're gonna need but also you can um, actually start to craft the carcasses which is an automatic turret which you can build on your, um, your, your tank or whatever um, and so on and so forth and even the humpback can later on be built in this one as well. But what you can see for example the Steppenwolves gonna need a truck, a cabin or actually in this case two of them. But when you go and try to build this one you can see it's part of the scavenger outpost. So you might want to plan ahead before you go into this one for example. Um, into the Steppenwolves before you're gonna be able to um, create the humpback. You might want to go and craft two of the jawbreaker, the trucker and even those engines which are currently in the Nomad um, engineer line. So this is what you want to take care of later on when you're going uh, or actually when you like to get this one. 
um, to have, well, yeah, um, a pretty much or the highest power um, um, cabin actually in the game, I believe. Um, but it's also heavy, um, yeah. So you need to, to uh, see what you want to have later on in the game, of course. So, and what you also want to make sure is that you level your factions while you are leveling through them at least to level 8. Maybe you want to go to level 9, depending, of course, of what you need and like. Um, why is that so? Because you want to make sure that you unlock everything which is purple, at least purple. And if you are able to hit, make it to maybe level 12 in the Nomads line, you are also able to later on craft the Reaper, for example. And same in here, you're gonna have to um, craft maybe those ones directly in the Lunatic um, uh, yeah, faction. And as you can see, for me, those are still unlocked. Like also the gas generator, for example, which is adding three energy. Um, but you need those small tank tracks, um, just for example, to create the Reaper in this case. So that's why you want to have all of that factions at least to level eight. Once you hit level eight, you might want to go over and switch to another faction so you're able to unlock more pieces you can build your car with or actually your tank or whatever you call it and you are able to bu to build more stuff once again plan ahead especially when you go later on into the relic parts um or legendaries or whatever they are called in here um so you prepare for them also to note um when you are getting more and more pieces from different factions they will not they will not affect your storage that means every time you're gonna level up, you're gonna get some um, build uh, pieces to build, but those are not tradable. And every time you can see when there is nothing tradable, you are not increasing your storage space by those pieces. You can always go in later on and of course add some stuff or add more stuff um, or actually increase the storage by um, creating those storage, uh, storage expansion but this will be maybe later on another video I'm going to talk about. That's it, everything I wanted to cover for this little tutorial about um, factions and crossout 0.7 beta. If this video was helpful in any way for you, make sure you hit the like button, thump it up and of course feel free to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next or another tutorial. Bye bye.